guess how we woke up here in Charlotte? We woke up to everything shaking. So. Hi guys. So I wanted to show you, oops, uh, that I braided my hair so that I can wash it because I have an early appointment tomorrow. I'm talking uh, 7 a.m., right? Yeah, 7 a.m. appointment to get my hair done. And so I have to wash it tonight so that it can air dry while I sleep. Um, I'm probably gonna be taking out my braids as I drive or something just because 7 a.m. is really early. Um, I haven't even mapped it from this apartment how far she is but Nina was able to squeeze me in, y'all. You don't even know how much of a miracle that is. Uh, so last time I think I had gone nine weeks maybe, and I am supposed to get my hair done every six weeks. Was it nine weeks? I don't know. So when COVID started, I had gone quite a while without getting my hair done. And um, when I finally went, it cost more <laughs> and it took a little longer, just a little longer. Um, she said mine wasn't atrocious. Um, a lot of the sister locks places in the area have been charging people an arm and a leg to get their hair done because I think there was that period in, from March onward where everything was closed so we couldn't go. So everybody went over their retightening schedule by a lot. So there's a lot of damage and you know a lot of repair that has to be done. So I get it. Um, but some salons in Charlotte have been charging like obscene the prices for <laughs> for the weeks that, for the extra growth. Uh, so yeah, so it's costing more. A lot of um, stylists, uh, sister locks consultants actually have taken down their, uh, your ability to book an appointment on their website. They've taken it down. You have to reach out to them. A lot of them have posted on Instagram that they are not taking new clients because they are just so booked and they have to space everybody out and you know do a whole lot more cleaning uh, social distancing, face masks on. So I think it's limited how much, how many clients they can work with. Um, and in my case, especially when I'm going to somebody's home and her whole family is there quarantining as well or self-isolating, I have to be very careful not to, you know, like I think she requests that if you've, you know, traveled recently or if you've been sick or if you've come into contact with like, just don't come. Uh, but if you come, she literally <laughs> has, uh, she opens the door for you so you're not touching anything. She has the bathroom door open already and she has the warm water running already. So all you're doing is getting soap and washing your hands right away um, so that you are not bringing germs into the house. Uh, last time I think I just went with my phone because I pay with an app. Um, so I did not touch anything else and my face mask stayed on the whole time her face mask stayed on the whole time The chair is disinfected between each client. So that was safe um, and so are her tools uh, So it, it was, it's done very healthily, you know, I'm facing forward. She's facing me. So we're not face to face with the breathing um, And yeah, and I think she tries to move as quickly as possible so she can get the next, you know, just get you out quickly uh, but yeah, my work schedule changed, so I had to cancel my appointment after that. When you know, like I had just ha managed to get a good appointment six weeks after and everything, and I was like, I have to cancel my appointment and reschedule. And she was like, Girl, I'm all booked for the next like four or five, six weeks. If I get a cancellation, I'll squeeze you in. But with the schedule I also have, I can't go in the evenings anymore, so. Squeezing me in was not like an easy task because she has to squeeze me in like really early in the morning uh, So last weekend she was like, hey, you want to come? I have an opening at 7 a.m. on Sunday We were in Asheville, so I couldn't I couldn't come I think she told me Saturday or Friday and the trip was already booked um, So I told her I said if you have anything else come open like that I'll take it and out the blue yesterday. She texted me and she's like I have something in two days you want to come? I'm like, I'll take, I'll take it. Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting it'll cost more. It might take a little longer, um, but I'm hoping I get out in time to get to work on time still. Uh, so we'll see. But I can't be late. I can't be even 15 minutes late because it'll trigger like we'd be late and I would get back home late and I would start work late and it's just gonna be a mess. So I do have to get up really early and get there on time. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it. I think for, I guess, beauty routine, it's just getting my hair done because it's just, it's so much growth. And if I'm not careful, my locks will start to fall off. 
not fall off, but like, how would I put it? So if this gets too messy, I could start to have, you know, thinning and things like that happen. So I don't want to risk damaging all these years worth of work because I was lazy about getting another appointment or I didn't push hard enough and make sure she remembered that I needed an appointment because she has so many other clients to think about. Um, so yeah, I'm just really, really blessed that I got this appointment. Um, and yeah, we'll, I'll show you. I guess I'm gonna wash it tonight, sleep with it, and then I'll, you know, pick up back tomorrow morning. And um, I guess you'll go with me. I won't really vlog, it's her house. Um, but you know, we can go from there. Um, and I do want to say, like, I'm being very safe even when I got my nails done, which you've seen that, you know, those clips. Uh, when we go to the nail salon, you don't even get to sit down. The minute you walk in, she has you wash your hands. Um, and as soon as you wash your hands, you, you then just sit down and wait to be called. And she has like a glass divider between herself and you. And she tries not to put anybody beside you. If she does, it's like a quickie and then, you know, on to, on to the next one. And they wear gloves. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, especially with the pedicures, they, they have like a saran wrap, a, a, like a plastic wrap they put on each uh, of the basins between each client. So they change that out each time. Um, I just got color change, so I didn't need all that. Uh, but yeah, they're very, they're very hygienic. Uh, everybody keeps a face mask on the whole time. I did not see anybody sliding around for nothing. Everybody kept it on the whole time. Uh, so yeah, it was it was very, we did it very safely. Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're getting back out there, but we're doing it safely and in, in wise ways. So let's just hope things get better. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go wash my hair. I'll see you in the morning. All right, so this is it. It is too early in the morning for me to be showing you guys my face close up. And Brendan is sleeping, so I'm gonna be like. So I just got done at Nina's and I had this on the entire time. And mine, I'm lucky, has like a metal in it so I can bend to conform to like my nose. Um, and I literally just took my keys in and I, like I said, I paid her the nap. Um, but yeah, I just got my hair done. I feel really good. I feel human again. He thinks I'm outside having fun without him. <laughs> He's losing his mind. I'm just in the other room. I'm not even outside. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he gets to be out there and I get to be in here. <sighs> oh my god. You guys. Okay. So that was fun. We just woke up to the weirdest thing. Can okay. y'all can you all see Brandon? Oh. Who's that? Um. My my it's my boyfriend. Uh -oh. Every time my phone rings, I tell Brandon it's my boyfriend. Who's was your brother? I can I have caller ID. I don't answer numbers. I don't know. Anyway, you guys. So <laughs> guess how we woke up today? This is Sunday, the eighth. Ninth. Ninth. Oops. This is Sunday the ninth, and uh, guess how we woke up here in Charlotte? We woke up to everything shaking. So I woke up thinking my nightmare woke me up because I was physically trembling and I was just like scared. And I thought it was my nightmare, but Brandon also looked startled and looked at me like, "Oh, you felt that too?" And then I said, "Oh, maybe it was just we both had nightmares and we both got startled at the same time. We both woke up." So I kind of lie back down, but I guess he knows he, so he went on next door and every neighbor is talking about it and it's just, did you guys feel that? Did you feel that? We had a mini earthquake here, mm -hmm. which is puzzling to me. So that was, um, where was it? Yeah, it was right outside of Mount Erie, North Carolina in a little town called Sparta. So it was 5.1 5 .5 magnitude. 5.1. Which is pretty good, not good, but you know, pretty. Yeah. Not small. Yeah, so battery died. Look at this one. Now he's up here. Y'all mess with my memory card. Hey, really? Really? Earthquake happened. You didn't warn us. You're over here messing with things. Shoot. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we're saying we're safe. Everything's good. 
Um, but now we're on earthquake watch and we're trying to see if we'll be okay if if there might be more. Yeah, hopefully that was the big one. Yeah, I'm watching CNN. Nothing's on CNN, mm -hmm. but I'm guessing it's on the local stations. Probably. So. Don't ask me what our local station is. I don't know. I have like 10 presets and I just, those are the only channels I watch. There's mm -hmm. so many, I just can't. Anyway, um, but yeah, so that's it. Happy to be alive. Yeah, I made a joke. We just called Brandon's mom to check on her. She said she was standing when it happened. Uh -huh. And she opened the fridge and she thought the fridge was going to fall on her. And I feel so bad. That's a scary feeling. Um, but yeah, she's fine. Uh, but we were talking about how imagine if you were doing something really bad. And then that happened. You would just be like, God is talking to me. <laughs> he has caught me. Uh, anyway, all right, so let me just show you what we picked up from Old Navy yesterday We went to get Brandon some white outfits for a shoot we're doing um, a family <laughs> Portrait of sorts and I ended up getting carried away. So I got this top I don't know if it's gonna be too big, but I kept the receipt just in case so the top is a small it's supposed to be baggy I think um, But we'll see if it's too loose. I might trade down, but yeah, that's odd that that's a small and it's that big, but we'll see. Uh, the skirt, I'm not honestly sure that's going to be my size. If it's not, they have, um, excuse me, they have a size up that I can go get. Um, but it looked cute. I wanted one that was more faded, but it was sold out in my size, of course. Um, this is cute. This is uh, like a pajama top. And it's a bit like sweater material, but that's fine. But I just, I have nothing to sleep in. I don't know if you see my morning vlogs, I'm always wearing old t-shirts. Um, I just wear whatever old shirt Brandon's thrown away that day. <laughs> um, anyway, so these I'm also hoping would look good with that family portrait uh, look we're doing. And um, just for something comfy. Um, and then these are the shorts to go with the pajamas, the pajama top. Um, I think th these will transition well into fall because they're a bit, like I said, a thicker material. Um, and of course, this bracelet was kind of expensive for what it is. Um, it's a $14 bracelet, <laughs> believe it or not. But it looks really cute and I can bend it to stay on my wrist. So I think that'll look really, really nice on. Um, it's very tasteful. But I don't know how it'll do with water, but because we couldn't tell what kind of gold it was. Yeah, we couldn't tell. Anyway, look at this guy with his dirty little paws. Get your feet off my clothes. Get your feet off, <laughs> off, 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 off my clothes. I just got out of the shower, so I'm a little ashy. I have not put on lotion yet. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this is what we got. Um, like I said, Brandon got some white outfits, white pants, white top, white tops. Um, so we'll see how those turn out, but look, look at this. You know cats can catch COVID, right? <laughs> can you not? Oh my gosh. Ah! Look at him. He's like, don't touch me. I'm going to eat your shoes. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. That's what we got from Old Navy. I just want to do something fun. 
so I did something fun. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm scared to tell you because sometimes you, when I do things, you, you say, well, you should have did this <gasps> or you no. should have put it somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm too sleepy to give you that reaction. What's up? Okay, so um, I got us a new TV. <laughs> what? 55 inch. Really? LED. I almost said a bad word. <gasps> 4K. Are you serious? Yeah. I did not see this coming in all the years I've known you. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I guess so. The reason, like, I'm telling you now yeah, my mouth is, like, is yes. because, so, like, I, I, I have it in my cart. Yes. I can get it from Walmart and they can have it delivered here. It won't get here till Sunday. Or we can pick it up from Best Buy tomorrow. I just don't know if you're. I'm a pick it up kind of gal. I just don't know if your um, vehicle can handle it because it's, it's a, probably going to come in a big box. Uh -huh. Will you plant the seeds? Can we plant the seeds? Uh, yeah, we can. We can try it. Yeah. Is it that big? What is 55 inches? I don't know. 55 inches? Because is it bigger than the TV we have in the living room? Yeah, that's only 40 inches. Oh, sorry. And that's diagonal length, so it's like. 55. A, it's a whole foot and a half longer than that like wider my fear with having it delivered is well my fear with bringing it up ourselves is we brought the couch up ourselves and that was a nightmare we can handle that we can make it, it won't weigh that much because if it slides backwards it will break and it's done i'm not worried about getting it up because i think we'll we, we can it won't nearly be as heavy as a couch like we, if we can get that the, was awful my ankle hates you for that <laughs> it hates <laughs> me for that because it was my idea but, yeah. yeah that was awful that I'm not worried about. I'm more worried about getting it in your car. Really? Yeah. We can flat disease. Okay. I don't know how long that is, but it's a quick. I mean, you want me to show you? Sure. So you measure a TV diagonally. Yeah. So you measure the screen. Yeah. So this is what our normal TV is. Yeah. This is what our TV. I'm worried about the car then. Okay, so you said this is what? This is how? This is 55 inches. That's 55. So this is 40 inches, measured diagonally. So that's our TV right now? Yeah. Okay. And the TV we're getting is 55 inches. I'm still in shock, you guys. Brandon is not all about like, let's go spend money. That's that's Toby's job. <laughs> And actually, I thought about 60, but I didn't know if, that, if it would like overpower the wall. Boy, I would take 60. Mm. I'm kidding. This no, is this is. 60 is the whole thing. That's amazing. So it's like, uh, it could handle 60. It could handle 60. Yeah. What? I'm just shocked to hear you say things like this. It's kind of hot. <laughs> do you think we should deliver it or should we pick it up? And if so, should we do 55 or 60 inches? Bigger, better. Hello. No, my issue with our eyes, our TV, is that we can't see subtitles. Mm -hmm. But um, I will have to get a new mount, so it will be on the floor for a while. Yeah, but it, it has a stand. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to do that. That is so crazy. I was just texting. Okay, so I meant to text you. Uh -huh. I texted the TV guys by mistake. Oh really? Yes. So they know I was looking for money to get another TV in. It, at Thanksgiving because they told me to wait till Thanksgiving to get a TV because that's when it's cheaper So they knew I was gonna contact them again because we were gonna need a new mount job Yeah, that is so crazy that that happened today and then you bought a TV today. Yeah. Well, this is a good time to get back to school Yeah, that no, I, I don't care about no, please. I'm excited So what do you think? I think yes so, like, should we Let's have it delivered. delivered. I don't want to drop it. Okay, Sunday so is still early. Yeah, so it'll be here Sunday. For That's still delivery. good. And even if they delay till Monday, guess what? We work from home. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. That works. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm really shocked, you guys, because Brandon does not spend money frivolously. That's that's Toby's job. Okay. I spend. It's, it's a bad thing, but I do it. Um, but yeah, I'm so shocked. I didn't see that coming at all. Um, I'm excited. Sorry, I look crusty. It is 9 p.m. and I've been working all day, so I'm just now trying on outfits to pack for tomorrow, but I'm so excited. Sorry about the faces I'm making. I, my lips are dry. 
but yes oh thrill thrill okay well i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow and i'll definitely be documenting this process so yeah so i just got a package from <laughs> uh, I guess I've been doing a lot of Etsy buys lately but yeah I just got a delivery okay and this is from Etsy and I'm really excited about this one I do want to share it because it's my friend's business okay oh my gosh this is too cute this is so cute so yes it's creative space and the Instagram name is creative k-r-e-a-t-i-v-e -E space 26 um and that's her instagram handle if you want to check her out <laughs> let's see if it's so focus is it yes all right so i'm really really excited about this um she mainly does uh i would say hair accessories for ladies and for like little girls um mainly little girls that's how it all started it was she was making bows for her daughter and you know a couple of people i think were like girl these are cute you should sell them and she's now selling them so i'm really excited um i was one of those people that was like girl you should you better sell and she gave me i thought i thought i ordered one i could have sworn i just ordered this but she just threw in this little cutie pie i didn't know she had hair bands like look at this this is so cute so so this is really the one i had ordered which was like a larger size and I absolutely love it. Yes. And the design, let me show you. <laughs> the design's got like arrows on it. So, oh, pardon my hands if I'm a little ashy. I, go, I went to the mailbox and I've been washing my hands thoroughly after every everything I touch. So this is my little bow and arrows piece. Okay. Yes, and this is the same print, except it's got a little hair tie on it so that I can just do this. Can you see that? I'm gonna tilt to the side. Look at that, this is so cute. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm gonna pull my hair to the side so you can see me use it properly. All right, so here. Let's try this side. My hair was curled, I put curls in it last night. I went outside, we had a little bit of a photo shoot this morning and let me tell you it was supposed to rain <laughs> and i was like we are not saying the r word and it didn't however it was very humid and my curls just dropped like they weren't even ever there but look at this this is so cute i am i wish i you know what i wish i had known to order this i love this but i love that this is a hair band because my idea had been to get this so i could actually stack them look at that <laughs> I feel like a cute little girl that is absolutely ridiculously adorable and they're so affordable too I think she has some that are like you can get two for like a lower price than if you buy two separately so bundle deals um, they're great gifts for little girls they're great for like I would say baby showers for little girls or just little girls or big girls why do I keep saying little girls I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little girl my daddy thinks so but um <laughs> this is super cute um but yeah i just wanted to shout her out and do this unboxing i've been on etsy like every day for the last month i think or two months i have a couple of things i'm waiting on uh, so i did order these on sunday last week sunday afternoon and today is now saturday and they are already here so i'm i'm really excited about this guys you guys please check her out she's the sweetest i mean she's the sweetest human you will ever meet and she will ship this to you very fast um yeah you know and support black owned okay no startup business i love it i love it you guys please support her creative space i keep looking down because i just can't believe it like it's like she made it for her daughter and i i think i was one of the people leaving comments like you should sell these these are gorgeous <laughs> 
and like she's selling them i'm so thrilled um my brother just had a little baby girl that's why i kept saying little babies little babies um uh, my brother just had a little baby girl and i'm an aunt now we're like what and so i'm looking forward to when i finally get to meet her because uh, you know all that's going on i have not gotten to meet her yet because i'm trying to wait till she builds up her immunity just a little bit um so we plan on going in a few weeks um and so i'm trying to stock up on like little baby gifts that i can take to her and just kind of make a little gift bag so this is one of the things i'm going to be getting um she does have some that are going to come as a headband um for little girls for actual baby babies so that they don't have pins in their hair so i'm really thrilled about that and so that's coming soon but yeah i'm really excited um please support oh, she's so, she's so cute. okay i'll stop i'll stop i'm just feeling this this is so beautiful thank you so much girl i really appreciate it mm -hmm.